A banana tree is planted for every ape. Okay, you get to plant a banana tree for every ape, so you're feeding all of them. Good, good job, sweetheart. Here, high five. En el cuarto y quinto grado, los niños necesitan leer y entender la información que proporcionan los libros y los pasajes de textos de sus materias escolares, como ciencias y geografía. Las características del texto ayudan a que un estudiante se dé cuenta de lo que es más importante, cómo puede aprender mucho más de lo leído y cómo puede volver al pasaje para encontrar la información que requiere. Los niños necesitan aprender cuáles son las características del texto y cómo las pueden utilizar para adquirir el máximo provecho del texto que estén leyendo. No todos los libros y pasajes de textos tienen todas las características que se enumeran a continuación. Por ejemplo, los libros suelen tener una tabla de contenido, pero raras veces la tienen los pasajes de textos. Algunas de las principales características del texto son Título del libro o del pasaje, lo que trata ese texto. Tabla de contenido, en ella encontrará la lista de los temas del texto con números de página donde comienza cada sección. Okay, Se so encuentra al frente del texto. Chapters. Chapter names and numbers. And what are these over here? The page. Okay, so what if you wanted to find chapter six? A New Life Begins, page 59. Los títulos. Son ideas principales y divisiones dentro del texto. Can you show me a heading? What does that tell you? Write your own tall tale. Okay, and what is what is that? Is that um, like a main idea? Yeah. That it, tells you what? It will tell you, well, it gives you an idea of what the whole thing will talk about. Los subtítulos. Son ideas enlistadas bajo el título principal. Las tablas de datos y gráficos nos proporcionan información en un formato fácil de ver. It's a timeline, okay. And that could be a table or a chart. And where does it start? Here. And what, what's, the, what's the year there? 1870. Oh my goodness, and how far does it come up into the future? Las ilustraciones también nos ayudan a ver cómo aparecen las cosas en el okay, texto. A caption, right? Is that what that's called? Mm -hmm. A caption. And what does a caption tell you? It tells you what the picture means. Okay. Las notas de pie nos proporcionan información al pie de las ilustraciones que explican lo que son. It's about caption astronauts. Tell you. Okay. It's about astronauts. Cool, huh? Okay. What are these called? Bulleted items. And what Los artículos y listas con viñetas yeah, okay. llaman la atención al lector sobre puntos específicos. Little tiny pieces of information like details. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Specific points that you need to know about what's going on in that chapter. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, what about a glossary? Do you think you can find the glossary in this book? Probably. El glossario nos da definiciones de las palabras o términos utilizados en el texto. It's like a dictionary and it tells you about words that you don't, that, or how to spell them or what they mean. Um, index. Should we talk about index? Do you know what an index is? Y el índice es una lista alfabética de los temas con números de página. Esta actividad incluye el pasaje Los Grandes Simios, que los hace grandes. Para poder jugar este juego, necesitará el pasaje del texto, la hoja de juego del niño, viaje a la tierra de los simios, la hoja con preguntas y respuestas para los padres y una moneda de un centavo. Cuando esté listo para llevar a cabo la actividad con su niño, siéntese en un lugar en donde ambos puedan leer los grandes simios, que los hace grandes. Pídele a su niño que lea el pasaje. And can you start here? With, let's, let's go over these words okay. before we start. Words to understand. Ape, chimpanzee, gorilla, bonobo, orangutan, and scientist. Okay. Great apes. What makes them great? What are great apes? Great apes are the largest primates in the world. Gorillas, orangutans, bonobos, and chimpanzees are all types of great apes. Great apes do not have tails, and their arms are longer than their legs. They have much larger, more developed brains than monkeys. Very good. So you see this chart down here, Meet the Great Apes? Yeah. And here it talks about the, these are the different apes you just read about. And this is the maximum height of males. Look at that, the gorilla is five and a half feet tall. 
What's this one? 450 pounds. Yeah, so this is the maximum weight of males. Saving the great apes. All the apes are endangered. Their numbers are shrinking for many reasons, such as the destruction of rainforests, where they live, hunting them from their meat, and diseases like Ebola that make them sick. It would be tragic to lose these interesting and intelligent animals. Luego, hágale las preguntas de la hoja de preguntas y respuestas para los padres. Hágalo una por una. Pídale que encuentre las respuestas en el pasaje de los grandes simios que los hace grandes. All right, so now we're going to play the game. It's called Journey to the Land of the Apes. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to read one of all these questions to you, one at a time. And uh, the answers are going to be underneath for me. And some questions are going to be worth one point, and others are going to be worth up to six points. So you can be able to move either one space or up to six, depending on how many you get right. Are you ready? Got your brain working? Yep. Okay. Um, first question. Find the title of this passage and read it to me. Great apes. What makes them great? Okay. All right. Second question. Find six headings in the passage and point to them. So this is six points and you get one point for each correct answer. So find all six headings in the passage. What are great apes? Gorillas, orangutans, bonobos, chimpanzees. Um, saving the great apes. You get six points for that. All right, you're moving right along there, kiddo. Look at the heading for chimpanzees. Read the subheadings to me. Studies about chimps, a helping hand, and born to be helpful. Okay. How many points do you think you get for that? Three. Right. Right on. <laughs> so why don't you look at the glossary and tell me what a rainforest is. A forest where it rains a lot. Each year, rainforests get... 98 to 177 inches of rain. That's really good. Good job. So that's one point. Move your penny one point. All right, these are bonus questions. Are you ready? Yeah. Great. So explain what the science experiments tell you about whether chimps are selfish or not. This is three points. Las primeras 12 preguntas son acerca de las características del texto, como por ejemplo los títulos y el glosario. Las últimas cuatro preguntas son para ganar puntos extras. Le ayudarán a su niño a pensar cuidadosamente sobre este pasaje y a aprender a hacer inferencias, contrastar información, comparar la información, hacer predicciones. Estas son habilidades difíciles de aprender para algunos niños. They're not selfish because it says that if one dropped a stick then if a human dropped a stick, then the chimpanzee would give it back, mm -hmm. or even if a chimp dropped a stick, then okay. another one would give it back. Do they have to reward the, the chimp for doing that? Nope. No, he just does it on his own? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, question 14. Tell me how orangutans are different from gorillas. Now, this is four points, so go back and look at what the difference is, uh, both maybe in the table and in the text here. Si su niño no sabe una respuesta, puede darle pistas y sugerencias. Where, where, where in the rainforest or which continent do they live in? Asia. Very good. All right, so the gorillas are bigger. Mm -hmm. They live in two different continents. And what color is, uh, color is a gorilla? A gorilla is black. Good. And what color is an orangutan? Um, orange brownish. Good job, Sienna. All right, four points. Move your penny. Okay. Imagine that a bonobo was hungry. Suddenly she heard another bonobo calling loudly. Tell me what she would do. She would go and get the, her favorite food because in the passage it said, 
that if one Bonneville calls to another Bonneville, that means that they can go get their favorite food. Okay, wonderful. You know what? You get three points for that, and you are at the end. You got them all. And look what you did on the way. You Ganaste. You Encontraste la tierra de los simios. Apes. Apes, the land of the apes. And down here you got them. También ganaste una banana para cada simio. Seis bananas para cada simio. Y ahora puedes plantar un árbol de bananas por cada simio. Plant a banana tree for every ape. So you're feeding all of them. Bien hecho. Good, good job, sweetheart. Here, high five. Other kids would like to play this game because it's you can learn and you can have fun and play the game at the same time. High five! Great job! Si usted y su niño disfrutan esas actividades, infórmele al maestro de su niño. El maestro puede tener más ideas que compartir para el aprendizaje divertido en casa. Si su niño tuviese dificultades con estas actividades, también puede hablar con el maestro de su niño. Puede ser que haya otras hojas de sugerencias o actividades que sean de ayuda. Good job. Give me five. Nice.